Hey guys, I have a little haul slash review to share with you today. I was contacted by Arteza. They are a company that makes um, all kinds of different art supplies, watercolors, acrylics, just all kinds of um, art supplies. And they contacted me and wanted to send me these products in exchange for an honest review. And um, I've said this before, but I, I don't recommend or show you guys products that I myself wouldn't spend my own money to buy. Um, being sent something for free is one thing, but if I wouldn't myself spend my money on it, I wouldn't tell you guys to get it. So, um, because I, I don't want someone to try to sell me something that they wouldn't buy, so I don't want to do that to you guys. So, Arteza is basically a company um, that this is a quote straight off their Facebook page, designs art supplies at affordable prices so anyone can afford them. And I love that because I um, love inexpensive art supplies because I feel like everyone should be able to access some them. And a lot of times the, um, the better art supplies are more expensive and, and not everyone can afford them. So... With that being said, I'm thrilled with this company because after using these products, they are such a great quality and the price is incredible. So without further ado, um, they sent me the 24 set of the Real Brush Pens. They sent me the 12 set of the Premium Watercolors and the 24 set of the Fine Liner Pens. So let's look at the fine liner pens first. They come in this awesome metal tin. I love storage solutions, so I love that it came in this tin. And then the pens come like this, and then you can lift this out and use the tin if you want. And the 24 set has an amazing rainbow of colors. They are pretty long pens. Um, they're triangle, which if you're like me, I have a like a, a table that tilts, you know, so it's easier for me to make stuff on. But when I put my pens on it, they always roll off. So I love the triangle um, shape so it won't roll off onto the floor, never to be seen again. So um, they're a 0 0.4 millimeter. And they have this metal tip here. And on the website, it says it's good for rulers or stencils so you don't get that weird gap, you know, sometimes. And like I said, it's a pretty long pen, so I'm assuming there's a lot of ink in there, which I really like. The website also says that it's non smudging. And I um, use these in my planner, and I also use them to color a little bit and it didn't bleed through my planner paper. Let me get my planner, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, when I first got them, I used them in my planner to just write my, you know, my stuff out, and they didn't bleed through to the other side, which I really enjoy. And the range of colors is really fantastic. I don't know if you could see it, but all the colors are really nice. This, there's th these two pink colors. They're just amazing. They're probably showing up the same on camera, but they're different. So I really enjoyed the fine liners. In the description box, I'm going to have all my products linked so that you can um, check them out if you want. And also, I have projects um, that I made with these products and those videos are going to be separate but they're going to be linked in the description box below. So let's move on to the real brush pens. Now I'm going to say I have the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and I paid a lot for them and I really wish I would have known about these before I spent the money on them because these are exactly the same if not a little better in my opinion and they're a whole whole lot cheaper. So they come um, in these plastic trays which I'll probably take them out of but um, 
if you want to travel with them, you could keep them in here and just slip them in. They're a little wonky because I had been using them. So this is the 24 color set, and you have a nice range of yellows and pinks, reds, blues, and um, there are a lot of greens in this set. Two, four, six. There's like, well, five definite greens, and this is like a, um, a brown green. So that's a lot of greens, I thought. Um, but I do like the colors. And these have, this is a pretty long pen too, and so I'm going to assume again that there's a lot of product in there, which is good. Um, so they have a nylon tip, that's a real brush. So if you could see, it goes into a real brush. This is watercolor paper, that's why it's skipping like that, because it's textured. And then it goes back and it's got water-based ink in there which means you can blend it out or you can um, use two markers to blend the colors together like for example I have my blue down and then I can take my pink and blend them together I don't know how well you can see that but that's the benefit of a um, a real tip so I again I'm going to link down below a project I made using the um, markers and I wanted to say that I, um, I, I there's two kinds of papers that I prefer to use the real brush markers or real brush pens on and that's watercolor paper and here I have one of the Tim Holtz birds that I colored on watercolor paper but I also am a big fan of Bristol cardstock because you could stamp an image really well and um, it doesn't have the texture that watercolor paper has so you get a nice crisp image and then the colors blend really nicely on the Bristol because it's smooth and but it's it's sturdy so the colors don't seep in and then I thought when I got sent these that the real brush pens were going to be my favorite thing but the watercolors were the dark horse in the running that I wasn't that excited about, but they are so amazing. They're my favorite thing ever in life right now. Let me just open this. So they come in these tubes, which first of all, how sleek are these? So cool. And um, each one has the name and I'm going to assume that the plus marks are the light fastness and the little square is the opacity because um, for example the ultramarine blue has this square um, that you can see the color through and then the titanium white which um, generally white watercolors are really opaque is completely colored in so I'm going to assume that's the um, opacity which is nice to have it right there on the tube for you. This also has a nice range of colors, every color you could want. And so I made a palette, I got a palette and just squeezed some color out and then made myself a like swatch, swatch sheet. I don't know if you can see this. So, um, Basically, this chart takes the 12 colors that I got and turns them into 66 different colors. And it's nice when you have a set of 12 colors to know that you can have all these different range of all the different ranges of colors. Like um, you have the nice teals in here and the purples, which there's no purple in this set. But when you mix the colors, you can get some really nice um, purples. So um, basically what you do is you put all the colors in order up at the top and down the side and then you just go through and like the first one's lemon yellow and yellow ochre so you mix that together and that's what goes in the square there and like 
So this would be yellow ochre and scarlet red. Mix it together and that's what color you get. Now this side over here is a pretty strong saturation of the colors and then over here, since it's the same colors as this, because that's the way the chart goes, um, I try to make them like a little lighter so you can see what it looks like. Now granted you can make a lot more colors than this. You know, you can start mixing three colors together and um, but for simplicity's sake, um, this is how I like to swatch my watercolors. And I will have a project linked in the description box with um, a project that I made using the watercolors. And I have to say that, um, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with these watercolors. A lot of times cheap watercolors for me they get like really grainy and that didn't happen. They were really um, the color was really strong and not necessarily opaque but the pigment was strong and um, not washed out looking and um, I'm a big fan of that and um, yeah, so big fan of the watercolors. If you have any questions about the watercolors or the markers or the fine liners, let me know. Like I said, there's going to be a um, some videos in the in the description box where I use these products products to make projects, and Arteza gets a double thumbs up. Super happy with them big big fan of them so I cannot recommend them enough I really recommend you check them out if you are in the market for some fantastic art supplies with a fantastic price might I add and yeah so thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the uh, projects that I made and I'll talk to you guys soon bye